Welcome friends, this is what analysis. So we have here a graph and we're gonna find the domain. So first of all, notice that when you look at the graph, analyze some key pieces of information, right? There are little arrow tips. That means the graph shoots off forever that way. That little arrow tip means the graph shoots off forever that way. Notice further that there are no holes, no gaps, jumps. It's a solid piece of graph, which means that the domain is the following. You would say negative infinity through positive infinity. Any value of x that you can possibly imagine can be plugged in. Like when three goes in, zero comes out. When zero goes in, four comes out. When eight goes in, uh, roughly seven comes out, you see? And it's like that for any input that you can imagine. There are no excluded values of the input. Okay, now let's look at the range. So the lowest y coordinate that you can see is right here. For example, when x is three, the lowest y coordinate is zero. When x is negative three, again, the lowest y coordinate is zero. That means we can indicate the range by basically drawing a narrow along the y-axis because those are the y-coordinates. And any value there can be reached, including zero, including four, including, for example, values all the way that shoot off towards positive infinity and so on. So the range you would say is the bracket because zero can be included, comma, and then because the y-coordinates go towards positive infinity, you put infinity. And then you terminate with a met, with a parentheses because infinity is a concept, not a number. What about the x-intercepts? Well, let's list those. I already have those circled actually, so let me maybe stress them. Like in red, in that red circle, that's negative three because that's where the y coordinate is zero. And then let's say in this green circle, if you look, x is equal to three, the y coordinate there is equal to zero. So the x-intercepts I could write by saying negative three, comma positive three. The values of x where the y coordinates are zero. The y-intercept. So here, focus on this part. This is where the graph crosses the vertical axis. You see that the value of y there is four. For the y-intercept, therefore, we can just say four. Where is it increasing? Hmm, so let's think about that. Increasing means you're gonna be rising from left to right, going up. So maybe throw a little arrow in here, okay? Like you see, it's going up along this part of the graph, and then also goes up along this part of the graph, correct? From left to right, you're rising along the part of the graph. So we can say that as follows then, increasing on the following, using interval notation, you would say negative three comma zero, both get parentheses, neither one is included, negative three comma zero. Remember this is asking about a chunk of the x axis. And then you're gonna have to go from three towards positive infinity along the x axis because there the graph rises again, the y coordinates get steadily bigger. And then, so you have to splice them together, just u for union, and then write three comma positive infinity. Next question, where is it decreasing? So decreasing means you're going down from left to right in terms of the graph, so let's do that. That means it looks like over here, right? From left to right along this piece of the graph, you're going down. And also from left to right along this piece of the graph, you're going down steadily. So you have to imagine the following in terms of what's happening on the x-axis, because you've got to answer in terms of the x-axis always. You're going to be coming from negative infinity up to negative three. And then you're gonna go from zero up to positive three. Those blue segments along the x-axis, those are your answers visually speaking. So you're gonna say negative infinity comma negative three, and then u, so splice it with zero to comma positive three. That's where it's decreasing. Where is it constant on? Well, here you can just say d and e doesn't exist. It's not constant anywhere. Local max coordinates. Well, there's one local max. Let me focus on it. It's this one here. You see that within that little box, the highest y coordinate is positive four, and every other y coordinate is lower than positive four. So the local max coordinates, you can say is zero for x, because at this point right here, when you look down to the x-axis, that's zero, and then positive four for y. Local min coordinates. Again, we already have those marked essentially, but let me kind of maybe do them one more time, like right here, correct? You see at negative three, the lowest y coordinate there is zero. Here on the other hand, at positive three, the lowest y coordinate is also zero. Therefore, we might say local min coordinates. Let's make it points. So we'll say at negative three comma zero. I've had to decrease the size of the writing here to fit it. And then the other point then would be three comma zero. Symmetry, well, what kind of symmetry do we have in the graph? Notice that the piece to the right of the vertical axis is identical to the piece on the left side of the axis. They look like mirror images. So we have, in other words, even symmetry, like this. What's the value of f of negative six? Well, 
look at the graph. So negative 6, when that goes in, what comes out is positive 4. See that? Just follow the blue segments. The f of x equals 8, that means we got to solve this equation, f of x equals 8. What this says is the following, because on the right side, what you're given is a y value. And using it, you have to go back and find the corresponding x value. So this is how you might approach it. Locate y equals 8, which is, let's see, here. And then look down to the corresponding x coordinate, which is right there, you see? So y equals 8 goes down to positive 9 as one value. But also y equals 8 goes down to negative 9 as the other x value. You have to solve the equation. Therefore, here you would answer negative 9 comma positive 9. But the last part, where is f of x greater than or equal to 0? Remember that f of x is just another way of saying y. In other words, we're saying where, is the, where the y coordinates greater than or equal to 0 in terms of x, right? So that happens all the way from negative to positive infinity. If you look at any point on the graph, the y coordinate is always 0 or greater than 0. So like if you look even at the local minimum right there, that's the y coordinate being 0 there, right? Look at the other local minimum, again, y is equal to zero. Look at the local maximum, y is four. If you look at any other point on the graph, the y coordinate is always greater than zero. In other words, to answer this question, interval where f of x is greater than or equal to zero, that means, remember, we're talking about x, we're gonna have the following, negative infinity, positive infinity, terminated with uh, parentheses. And that's how you can analyze a graph like this. Leave a like if it's been helpful.